Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so excited to be with you today and talk about some of my favorite ways to cook for my family. Now this last week, I made a massive turkey. Well, okay, it was 12 and a half pounds, but that's really big for just my husband and I. Anyways, I love making like big cuts of meat and then repurposing them throughout the week. So today we're going to go over the things that I did with our turkey. Um, day one uh, was just the turkey. I just roasted it with some mashed potatoes and some vegetables. Um, and then day two, we had turkey sandwiches for lunch. Day three, we had turkey with a fennel sauce poured over noodles. And I'm actually going to share this recipe with you today because it's so good. Uh, and then day four, we had turkey salad sandwiches. I made a cucumber boat out of mine. Uh, you just slice a cucumber in half and scrape out the seeds and then fill it with stuff. And it was like so much better than I expected it to be. Really refreshing and just awesome. Um, and then day five, we had turkey noodle soup. Uh, I am going to go over the recipe for the turkey and fennel sauce because it's stupendous and I think everybody should try it. Um, it's really good. So you're going to need your ingredients. Uh, one fennel bulb sliced into half moons, one medium onion sliced into half moons, one small leek sliced into half moons, three to four garlic cloves, rough chopped depending on how garlicky you like it. Two cups diced or shredded turkey, which you can substitute with chicken if you'd like. A quarter cup fennel fronds, rough chopped. One lemon sliced in half. Salt and pepper to taste. Half cup, sorry, a quarter cup of flour. One cup turkey broth or chicken broth. One jar of Alfredo sauce. The first thing you do is heat up your large skillet at medium heat with some olive oil. Then you'll caramelize the onions um, until they get this nice deep brown color. Um, at which point you will add in the leeks and the... The leeks, the fennel, and the garlic. You'll brown that some more, cook it nice and slow on that medium heat, and then you will add the turkey and warm that through. Doesn't have to be super hot, just warm enough. At which point you will sprinkle the flour over everything, stir that in really good so that there's no like obvious flour in the pan, it's just like attached to all of the food. And then you'll pour in half of the turkey broth and mix it until it's well combined and it should be kind of like a paste, a uh, really thick paste or uh, just really thick. And then you'll pour in the rest of the broth and by doing it in two separate batches, you avoid clumping up the flour, uh, which makes for a smoother sauce and a more enjoyable experience. And after you finish pouring in your turkey broth, you'll add in the Alfredo sauce. You'll mix it up and you'll add the juice from half of the lemon. Make sure not to get any of the seeds in there. That's pretty nasty. Uh, nobody likes to bite down on some lemon seeds. Um, and then you will add in your fennel fronds, almost all of them. You'll reserve some as a garnish on each of the plates. And then there's two different options with the garlic. You can add some extra garlic at this point, and that will give it a really punchy, garlicky flavor that's kind of awesome. But if you're not a super garlic fan, leave that out. You have the cooked garlic already in there, and that will give plenty of flavor. So you don't have to worry about that so much. It's totally up to you. Um, I chose to serve it over some noodles. It would be delicious over some mashed potatoes. You could also put it over some rice or, um, I mean, honestly, you could thin it out some more and make good soup out of it too. So it's just kind of depends on what route you want to go 
but I served it over some noodles. I garnished it with some fresh cracked black pepper and some of those extra fennel fronds and I drizzled it with some olive oil and it was absolutely delicious. Uh, my husband and I really enjoyed this. Uh, we ate all of it. Really good time. So I recommend you guys try this. It is amazing, like I keep saying. And uh, use chicken if you want. Totally would work that way too. Um, yeah, so go for it. Anyways, thanks for watching my super short video today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys. And I just wanted to say thanks so much. So remember, like the video, comment, subscribe, like hit the notification bell. I'm making videos every single week that will be coming out on Fridays. So I'll see you guys next time.